Hey, how's it going out there? Richard Ramirez coming to you from Pismo Beach, California. And today, as you can see, I am in a different setting. <laughs> um, have you ever had one of those days in which all of a sudden your day is like coming to an end and you realize that you didn't get everything accomplished as you wanted to? <laughs> um, you know, we get, we get daylight daylight here till roughly 8 o'clock maybe 8 30 and of course because of the fact that I spend the majority of my time at night um, handling uh, <laughs> some support tickets for a company that I work for that I generally have to take a nap during the day and uh, I woke up and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's already 7 o'clock. <laughs> Where in the heck did my time go? But anywho, I remember that we have a little park out here in what we call the Berry Gardens. And this particular neighborhood, neighborhood was being formed when I lived across the street. Uh, from my current house that I live at and this particular field used to be a strawberry field and I think it took me probably another seven years to figure out why they called this place the berry gardens until I started walking around the streets and noticed the names of these streets Huckleberry, boysenberry, raspberry, strawberry, <laughs> get my drift, berries, <laughs> hello, hence, berry garden. So, what am I going to share with you today? What words of wisdom? And being since a majority of my talks seem to be about forgiveness of the past, or your failures of the past, um, the message that spoke to me today was in my book by John C. Maxwell and it's uh, 365 Days of Insight to Development The Leader Within You and Influence Those Around You and this reading was actually um, from a few days back and sometimes I like to make acrostics or use acrostics or in English terms uh, <laughs> I use acronyms and, and some of my uh, posts that I use on Facebook and this one is talking about keeping mistakes in perspective now I've told others to change the word failure to feedback because that's basically what it is it's feedback as to how you can improve and how you can do better in that particular situation <clears throat> um, well, I'll go ahead and read you this page okay keeping mistakes in perspective to leave the road of continual failure, a person must first utter the three most difficult words to say, I was wrong. He has to open his eyes, admit his mistakes, and accept complete responsibility for his current wrong actions and attitudes. Every failure you experience is a fork in the road. It's an opportunity to take the right action. Learn from your mistakes and begin again. Leadership expert Peter Drucker says, the better, a man is, the better a man is, the more mistakes he will make, for the more new things he will try. I would never promote to a top level job a man who, is not, who was not making mistakes. Otherwise, he is sure to be mediocre. Mistakes really do pave the road to achievement. And here is the acronym that was created by John C. Maxwell to help him keep mistakes in perspective. 
The M stands for messages that give us feedback about life. Let me get back up here. And uh, across the street there's somebody working on the yard, so uh, hopefully I'm loud enough. <laughs> um, okay, so M stands for messages that give us feedback about life. I stands for interpretations that should cause us to reflect and think. S, signposts that direct us to the right path. T, tests that push us toward greater maturity. A, awakenings that keep us in the game mentally. K, keys that we can use to unlock the next door of opportunity. E, as we have a big truck coming through. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, this, this road seems to be one of the, one of the busier roads also, because it leads down to that baseball field that I was at yesterday. Okay, where was I? Uh, E, explorations that let us, that let us journey where we've never been before. And S, statements about our development and progress. And this particular message today um, is actually from John C. Maxwell's book, Failing Forward. Um, and in closing, he, he also adds, look for ways to praise your people's mistakes and help your team learn from them today. That's one thing that I'm, um, I'm grateful for, is, is that I actually have a few mentors that, that are able to help me and guide me when I do make these mistakes um, and it's not that they're public publicly humiliating you or um, making you look bad they they actually pull you aside and say hey <laughs> what's with it you know why are you doing it this way and um, Maybe we can try it doing it another way. And through this, it's it's actually helped push me over my own limits, uh, my own barriers, if you will. Um, you know, com coming from recovery, you never really understand um, commitment. And it wasn't until I've gone through my first year, actually six months, because six months of service, then, or excuse me, six months of sobriety, that's, that's when they ask you to start being of service to others. And the sponsor that I had at the time, who wasn't my sponsor, <laughs> but somebody that I was thinking about asking, yes, I... I did not get a sponsor first day in because I had trust issues. Um, so it, it took me eight months to get my first sponsor in the program. But he suggested six months in to take a service commitment, which I did. I became a secretary of one of our local meetings. and that became my responsibility to make sure that the building was open and coffee was on um, and just make sure I had a speaker to, to give us a little opening there and do the read and, and pass out the readings for the night and a suggested commitment is usually anywhere from three to six months um, and I honestly couldn't tell you how long I lasted in that in that uh, position because that was quite some time ago but um, anyway it, it was that particular situation that started to really teach me the true sense and form of having a commitment um, yes we, we get a job and, and 
we commit to be there at a particular time to do a specific task throughout the day, but even even a nine to five job um, has its toll on you because after you've been there a while, you're you're <laughs> sometimes you're no longer that same person that you were when you were hired, and I think some of you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but anywho. Making making mistakes is part of the journey, okay? Don't be afraid to fail, okay? And don't let being a perfectionist stop you from getting started. Now, some of us over here in the home-based business world will say... I started with a company, or no, better yet, I joined a company, but it wasn't until a certain amount of time, whether it's six months, a year, maybe even two years, before I officially started. So don't let that be you. If you have started working with a new company, Don't spend all of your time in training mode, okay? Training mode will only keep you in paralysis. It's time to start doing what you have learned so that you can get to success that much quicker. So, as I always like to close my broadcast <laughs> um, remember to do what you love with passion give yourself grace for the mistakes that you have made and continuously grow at least one percent than the day before all right y'all take care and we'll see you tomorrow